I'm gonna do kind of a bee theme with some butterflies. We are actually going to work on a birdhouse, y'all, but we're gonna have a little bit of a spin on it, kind of an MC spin, if you know what I mean. And so I think it'll turn out turn out cool. Let me think, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna be using some paint and some paper and some bling. We're just gonna do kind of a mixed media, if you will. We're gonna have some pretty ribbon here. So we've got this paper that is my favorite. A lot of people like this paper. It is one of my favorites. And I thought this would be pretty too. Kind of like the little uh, market theme that they have. So I'm just trying to decide before I paint what I actually thought earlier was I was going to put this at the top and put the floral on the sides of the birdhouse. And then, so let me paint right quick what we need to paint. Y'all, we're going to be using of the, I didn't bring all of them in here. Well, maybe I did. Um, we're going to be using the pretty bronze um, collection for these bees and friends and butter, butterflies and friends. Look at this. Enamel with the black and white check. So that's what we're going to be using tonight is the bronze. And that'll be going with some ribbons. I've got this kind of this lame. Um, some of you saw me use this back in the fall. Got this real pretty gold and kind of the, the light gold. So I think it'll be really pretty once we get going here. This was at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna do the front white um, first. All right, let's get the front done here. So we'll let that start drying. And I'll get on the back here. All right, I'm gonna do, have bright gold and this gold. I think this one will work better. We'll see as we go here. All right, let's get our paper. Now, oh, isn't this pretty? I think it's just gonna look fun and springy. Now, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna measure this. Go ahead, I think we started over here and see that paint's already drying pretty much. Get my pieces going, get my decoupage. Make sure this is gonna work. I think this is gonna be cute. Got our sides going. So far, so good. Now we gotta do our tops. This actually may be a little bit more challenging. A little mark right there. At least you have kind of a, a grid or something to go by. That makes it better. You kind of see what I'm going for here? Now, could go a step further. I was gonna paint the base black, but then I thought I've got scrap pieces here. So if I can, I'm gonna try to put these on the very bottom. If y'all will oblige me just a minute to get these cut out. Once again, I'm just gonna kind of score it with my finger where I kind of know where it where it starts and where it ends. Where are my scissors? I lose them. Can't keep up with them. What do y'all think so far? Got the little base going there. Yet. The black paint. Finish this off. I'm just going to go along here with the black. See how sharp that'll be? This is 
the front. I'm gonna go around the, the edges here with the black again. Like I said, y'all could get up under the eaves if you want to. Um, I wonder, let's put this on top for now and then I'll bling it. That's what we've got so far. I don't know how well y'all can see it in the camera. It's gonna just look totally different when we get that stuff on there. It's gonna look totally Think the inside of the, um, where the birds go in, I'm gonna do that gold, just to have some interest. I'm gonna get up under the roof, just because it just hit me. bit of gold up under on the eaves kind of so it's black and gold time for the fun part now we're gonna decorate it while that's drawn do my dovetails if I want to do it that way Right side. Let me get my pretty pieces here. This is what we're going to be using tonight. It's a big bow, but it kind of makes it fun and whimsical. So it's almost like a jester. We are going to use, what did I decide earlier today? Um, we're going to use this beautiful bee. I don't know if y'all can see that. And then this one right here, that's the enamel. These are all in the bronze. And then this lovely one right here with the pearl. That way they'll all coordinate. Everything goes together anyway. And then I think, oh, this little bee's too cute though. We may have to use him too. Look at this sweet little bee. It has enamel as well. So we need to find one though to go on that bow. I'm thinking this one. On the front let me get my thoughts together here we're gonna put this B right on the front gold tonight we've got the gold the silver the rose gold oh, there's too many to choose from I'm not kidding I think I'll forego the little bee. I wanted to use the little bee, but I think right now we just need one bee and a couple of butterflies. Can y'all see them? They're so glistening. Then we're gonna put this pretty enamel one kind of up at the top. All right, here we go. Here is our little bird and bee house. You see them? All right. It's very whimsical. That is a big bow. Even here in Texas, that's big. But that's okay. We're just having fun. Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.